Good evening and uh, welcome to this UHI lecture. The last time we were in Eden Court was in 2002 for our first annual lecture, which on that occasion was delivered by Lord Putnam, David Putnam, the filmmaker. And it's wonderful to be back here today in the newly refurbished Eden Court. Eden Court's at the centre of sustaining and promoting the arts in Inverness and the Highlands, just as UHI is at the centre of sustaining and developing and promoting higher education throughout the Highlands and Islands of Scotland. So this evening, it's therefore a very happy concurrence for UHI to be hosting this lecture here in Eden Court. Richard Dawkins, Professor Dawkins needs little or no introduction from me. All the tickets for tonight's event were taken up within four days. His most popular book, The God Delusion, has been translated into 31 languages and in its English version alone has sold 1.5 million copies. But while Richard Dawkins is presently most famous for his views on religion, he originally made his reputation as a distinguished scientist. For many academics and others of my generation, his 1976 book, The Selfish Gene, was seminal. And underpinning all of Richard's work is a commitment to the scientific method and to evidence-based reasoning. Richard was born in Nairobi in Kenya in 1941 and lived there for eight years before the family returned to England. He studied zoology at Balliol College, Oxford, where he was tutored by the Nobel Prize winning ethologist Nicholas Tinbergen, graduating in 1962. He continued his studies at Oxford, gaining his d degree in 1966. Briefly, he then taught at the University of California at Berkeley from 1967 to 1969 before returning to Oxford. And this is the one bit of his career I don't quite understand, leaving San Francisco and Berkeley in 1969 seems a wrong move. And I say that from experience. I went to the States in 1969 as a graduate student, albeit to the East Coast. And of course, we were the generation at that time of students who didn't inhale. <laughs> Back at Oxford, Richard's career continued apace. Uh, originally appointed as a lecturer in zoology, he then became the Charles Simonyi Professor for the Public Understanding of Science in 1995. This position has provided Richard with a platform to promote his commitment to the scientific method and to evidence-based reasoning. Awards and accolades have followed. He has honorary degrees from the University of Westminster, the University of Durham, the University of Hull, the Open University, the Free University of Brussels, our own St. Andrews University, and the Australian National University. In 2001, he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. This evening's event takes a format we've used before to good effect. Richard will engage, first of all, in a conversation with Paula Kirby for about 40 minutes. Paula Kirby has lived in the Highlands for about seven years. She describes herself as a former uh, Christian and now a committed atheist and an active supporter of Richard Dawkins and his views. We think this conversation format will work. It will allow Richard to present his views and what I think he's described to me is a, a series of lecturettes. In other words, we hope this format will allow Richard to cover the broad range of his work and concerns. This will then be followed by a question and answer session conducted by the redoubtable Gary Robertson. We of course consider Gary to be one of our own since he hails from Elgin. And Gary himself has had a distinguished career with the BBC covering the Oscars in Los Angeles, working for the World Service, and producing the Sony award-winning Eddie Mayer live show before returning to Scotland. Most of us, of course, start the day with Gary. He tells us what's going on in the world through Good Morning Scotland on BBC Radio. 
Gary has been instructed to forensically examine the views expressed by Richard and to ensure that as many of you as possible get the opportunity to ask the question you most want an answer to. So that's our speaker and our interrogators. So can I now ask uh, Gary Robertson to come on stage to explain a little more about the format. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Eden Court Theatre. Well, as Bob was saying there, our format is that Richard will have a conversation with Paula for around 40 minutes, and then we'll have an hour or so to get through as many of your questions as possible, and that's where I come in trying to get as many of you to, to ask questions and getting Richard hopefully to give you as thorough an answer as possible. Now you'll see looking around the room that we've got some microphones set up for you to ask those questions. I'd ask you, as the conversation comes to an end, if you'd like to ask a question to make your way to one of the microphones. Obviously we won't be able to hear you unless you're at one of those. So there are microphones in the main auditorium at either side here and then upstairs we have microphones again pretty much in the same position on each of those levels so once the conversation is coming to an end if you make your way to the microphones and you'll hopefully get your chance to ask your questions in the hour that we have allotted to us so without further ado could we welcome to the stage Paula Kirby and Professor Richard Dawkins. Thank you. 